Welcome to How to Become a Better Cuber 3, the third video in a series where I show cool breakdowns, algorithms, and tips for cubing. And if you haven't already, check out the playlist here. So let's get started. You probably know either the MUU perms or the ones that begin with R's, but this algorithm is a quirky way to execute the algorithm that you probably already know. I actually use the MU and R U perms depending on how my OLL ends and what orientation I get the U perm in, but when I get the counterclockwise U perm at this angle, this is the algorithm that I use. So first I'll show you what the algorithm looks like fast, and then I'll break it down and give some tips for finger tricks. So here's what it looks like executed quickly. Looks pretty nifty, doesn't it? Alright, let's break it down. So first it starts with an R2 prime, and I do this by regripping with my thumb on the U layer and the rest of my hand on the D layer. So R2 prime, U prime with the left index finger, and then I do the F and B prime together with my right index and ring finger. And then I do an R2, which is really nice from this position with the right hand. And then I do my F prime and B together. I do a U prime with my left hand and then R2 prime. So the right hand kind of is doing this in a big motion, which is why I regrip at the beginning. So regrip starting here, U prime, F B prime, R2, F prime B, U prime, and then fix. So a little bit faster. So that's what it looks like executed quickly. Now, you probably knew this algorithm at one point without the cool finger tricks. It's the beginner U perm that a lot of people, myself included, learned as one of their first PLLs. Here is what it probably looked like when you used to execute it. This is the beginner method of execution. If you'll recall, many of you may have learned it this way. Or from the other side. Can you see the parallel for how the fancy algorithm is just a better way to execute the same algorithm? It can be a tricky algorithm to get down, but luckily we all have some time without competitions to practice. To show how effective this algorithm can be, I've included a montage of a few solves where this algorithm came in handy. Before we get to the solves, this is a quick reminder that I have an upload schedule now, so make sure to subscribe for new content every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. To summarize the algorithm, it's a cool looking algorithm to execute, but it's extremely effective when used correctly. Now, onto the solves.
hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe for the latest content.